Hi everyone. So it looks like a potentially disappointing month this month, but on the upside, there are five games I'm giving away. As ever, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and leave a comment for which game you'd want to win from the five options. So without further ado, let's dig into it. Crusader Kings 3 is a strategy kingdom management game set in the Middle Ages where you manage resources, armies, alliances, marriages and wars. There's a lot to learn here and the many different game features will take a lot of time to learn and get to grips with. It's not really a game for me, but it should be good for fans of this kind of game and it's the first game I'm giving away this month. I've been a fan of the Just Cause series of games for years. I've put many, many hours into the first three and really enjoyed them. Very soon after Just Cause 4 was released, it was given away for free by Epic Games, so I grabbed it and had a play. There were a few bugs early on, as is typical of Just Cause games, so I haven't been back to it since, but I'm going to play through it more this month. It doesn't quite have the same vibe as the original games, but I'm hoping that that improves as I move along the story. This is the second game I'm giving away this month, so some lucky winner could blow up half of the island and go around causing chaos and explosive ragdoll mayhem. A Dungeon of Nahulbuk. Nahulbuk. Nahulbuk? No idea. This is a partly turn-based game where your party of characters sneaks into a dungeon, gets separated for the tutorial, and then has to regroup as you learn how to play. I'm not a massive fan of turn-based stuff, the controls are a little cumbersome, but overall it's a good game. And this is giveaway number three. Forgive Me Father is a great sort of poster board comic style FPS that reminds me a lot of the original Doom in both mechanics and feel. There's a lot of fun to be had and it's a surprisingly enjoyable title in what I expected to be a month of disappointments. What the hell looks like? This is the fourth giveaway game. Crown Trick is a dungeon crawler where enemies only move when you do. This gives you a bit of time to plan out your approach and work out how to clear an area without dying. It's okay, but janky enough to be annoying. Ah, a game where you have to get to the tutorial to even get to the graphics options. And when you finish a game mode that you launch from a menu, you're dumped into a free riding playground area afterwards so you don't realise that you've actually lost. I found this one a bit boring. There are some fun stunts, but it's not really my kind of thing. And this is the fifth and final giveaway this month. Industria is a mystery adventure game. It starts in Germany in 1989 during the fall of the Berlin Wall, and then moves into either a parallel universe or a timeline where it seems that robots have taken over. really enjoying this game so far and I will be playing it more this month and yeah this could be actually my favorite game this month. Shapes is a fun little conveyor puzzle game where you take shapes, chop and rotate them and then feed them into a receptacle. It reminded me a little bit of Autumn Chef but with less direction. It's fun but there are a lot of games out there like it. So that's it for this month. If you want to win Crusader Kings 3, Just Cause 4 Complete, Dungeon of Ne Me 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 Me, Crown Trick, or Descenders, leave a comment, and for a second chance to win, check out at SlothrockUK on Twitter and retweet the video post there. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.